respected director and the senior vice principal, Mr. Francis, Rohit, and my dear friend, and my dear students, it is my honor to be in your midst this morning. I consider this a blessing indeed. As they say, you travel around, you toes a coin, and it falls on a Zaverian. And so I was pleased to discover a Zaverian who was at St. Xavier's College for three years doing his BCom, and then followed by his own daughter. And this is the discovery that I make wherever I travel. I am not a Zaverian. A Zaverian is the one who is an alumnus or an alumna of St. Xavier's College or St. Xavier's University, Kolkata. I am not one. I studied in Loyola College, Chennai, which is also a Jesuit institution. But what I discovered the last 36 years while I travel around, I meet people who have been Zaverians in heart and in their life. What is it to be a Zaverian? It is to stand and live for what they call A-M-D-G. This is a Latin phrase, ad maioram dei gloriam, for the greater glory of God. We are all believers. We all have faith in God. And so sins we are believers. We believe that God is at work at every moment of life. Whether you believe in the existence of God or you deny the existence of God, God can never be affected. He continues to live in our midst. And so since we are believers, we believe in God and we believe also in ourselves. And so everything that you do, whether you sit here now listening to me or you sit in your classroom listening to the lecture of your teacher or you are playing on the field or you are swimming in your school swimming pool or you are at home studying and writing an exam or helping out your mother or father somewhere, whatever you do, even the slightest move that you make is all directed by the divine providence that lives in you. And that's why everything that you do, you do for the greater glory of God. My request to you will be this. You're all going to be future leaders of this country, intellectuals. There are so many millions of students who have no opportunity to go to school, to study. And you are in Sai International, one of the best or the best school in this part of the country or in the whole country. And so you are among the privileged minority of this country. We must realize that. Many of us don't realize the importance of our life and the opportunities that we have received first from God and then from our parents and from our teachers and from the institutions like Sai International. And so we must be grateful in life. Life itself should be an expression of gratitude to many people. I just want to share with you another dimension is what we call majis. You know, majis is also a Latin word. It's a word that you say is in whatever you do, you do greater, 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 greater. There is nothing in life called the greatest I have achieved. There is no end to the exercise of wisdom and knowledge. 
Nobody in this world can ever say, I have completed my journey of acquiring knowledge. No. Till death we go on. And so this is the spirit of Majis. We keep on doing. I'm sure all of you love yourself. Do you? If I ask you what is the difference between love and like? What is, what, what is the difference between I like someone and I love someone? Buddha explained it very beautifully. He said, if I like a flower, I pluck it. Because I like it. I want to have it. And I give it to someone. But if I love a flower, I water it. I let it grow. And I relish and enjoy the beauty of that flower. And I let others also love it. This is the difference. Do we like ourselves? Do we like others? Do we like what we study? Do we like our institution or do we love it? It should make us think. Another aspect, because you're all senior students, you are able to think for yourself, you're able to reflect for yourself, take an idea and ponder over it and take it further and further and further till you reach deep down a level of satisfaction in your reflection. Identity is very important. You like your own identity. And what is this identity made of? Identity is first and foremost is made of your name. If anyone wants to know who you are, they don't ask you about your color, about your weight, about your height. They ask you, what's your name? And so your identity is contained in your name. And your name, whether you like it or not, it's the most beautiful thing in the world for you. Begin to love your name. Because that's the gift of your parents. I don't know what they went through when they wanted to give you such a beautiful name. Both of them must have discussed among themselves what best name to give it to my daughter or to my son. And your identity spreads out to your language, to your background, to where you study. Identity is bound to the external expressions of your life. We all are called to love our identity, but not to possess it. If you become possessive of yourself and of your identity, you become selfish. We are called to be selfless, visionaries, you need to have a big God with a big world. Your God cannot be so small. I and my God. I and my little world. Your classroom or your few friends and your family should not become your world. Your world must be the whole globe, the universe. You must spread your wings and fly. This is the dream that we will have to have. An impossible dream. It's like I was just gifted a few minutes ago a small little plant that's become a beautiful expression these days. Instead of giving a flower bouquet, or instead of giving you a memento, you give a little plant. What does it say? You know, when you plant a small little seed. The seed slowly sprouts and becomes 
a plant and a tree. Unless and until a seed falls into the ground when you plant and dies to itself, it cannot give new life. And so the seed has to die. And then there is new life. A small little seed becomes a mighty tall tree one day. And so your identity has to die to yourself if you want to become a big visionary. If you want to become a leader. If you cling on to your identity, this is my name, this is my background, this is my culture, this is my language, this is my region, one cannot grow. And so die to yourself in order to grow and become a great leader. And one has to carry this. That's why Swami Vivekananda would say, take an idea and dwell on that idea till you reach the result of that idea, till it becomes a fruit of your life. And you begin to give abandoned fruits to the rest of lives around you. Let me conclude with a small little story. It's a story about a salt doll. A salt doll stood on the seashore admiring the mighty ocean. The ocean said, why are you standing there? Why don't you come in? Why, do, why are you just a spectator? Become a participant in my own life. And so the salt doll said, no, 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 I'm just standing admiring you, your waves, the mighty waves. And the beautiful way they embrace the sand, the earth. And so the salt doll slowly enters into the sea and starts swimming. And as you know, the salt starts dissolving. And so when there is a little bit of salt left to itself, it tells the sea, I understand how mighty you are. I have lost my identity. I have dissolved myself in you. When I become you, I am no more I. I am you now. This is what happens to us. If we can dissolve in Sai International, you entered as a little child, and you are growing as a student for the last couple of years, and when you finish your studies in the school, you lose yourself. You get dissolved into the sea of Sai International. And when you leave the portals of this institution, you leave like, not like the one who came in, but as a new person. Because you have dissolved. You have taken the identity of the school with its values. And so you're going out into the world as a new person, with new values, with new thinking, with a broad vision and a great dream. This is what we are. Every institution plays a significant role in our lives. And this is very important to be open, to receive these roles that other institutions play. Never say no again. Never say no to anything in life. Always be optimistic. Look positively. Because there are many, many, many things waiting in store for you. Your teachers will tell you. Your parents will tell you. Your friends will share with you. And the whole universe is talking to you. Do you have a habit of as you enter into your school, because I was just told by sir that your school has always been winning as a green school, school that promotes be clean and be green. 
Have you ever experienced or have you ever talked to a tree? Have you talked to a statue? Have you talked to a flower? Have you talked to a leaf? Or as you walk from your home to the school, or as you travel by your car, do you say a small prayer for all that happens on the way? For having reached you safe to the school? Well, there are hundreds and thousands of people dying on their journey. Gratitude and positive outlook to life is the fruit of our own personal reflection deep down. As I stand before you, I want to extend a very warm welcome to all those who would finish class 12 to St. Xavier's College and St. Xavier's University. <laughs> Whatever subjects that you want, because you have one who has passed through the portals of St. Xavier's, like Rabindranath Tagore, like the great scientist Jagadish Chandra Bose, or like Jyoti Basu, a great politician, Siddhartha Shankar Ray. There are so many people who have sat in classrooms, walked on the court. Shaurav Ganguly, okay. <laughs> Shaurav Ganguly. And so there have been so many of them who have passed through the portals of St. Xavier's College and now St. Xavier's University. Yeah, and sorry. In fact, he is going to become one of the visiting professors of the university. We have just conferred on him a Global Zaverian Award on the Vice President. You may not think today when Abdul Kalam, he is an older student of North St. Xavier's, but another Jesuit college in South. When Abdul Kalam first time, he has visited us a couple of times at St. Xavier's College, Kolkata. But when he came the first time, you know, he said, you know, Father, as soon as I became president, the first thing I thought of was my college. And I visited the college. And I went to the room, the hostel room that I stayed. And I met that student who was living in that same room after so many years. And I wanted to have a little chat with him. And so I asked him, will you also, because you're living in this room, become the president of India? And that boy said, no, sir, I'm not that gifted like you. He patted him and said, never say that. Never say no in life. Be positive, be optimistic, because you don't know what is going to happen the next moment in your life. You and I are not destiny makers. You and I continue to live, but God makes our destiny. You don't know what you will be, but you may be tomorrow an industrial leader, an educationist, a political leader. You may be. You may be the president of India, prime minister of India, some ministers. And so each one has certain qualities that will flourish in the course of time and flower forth. And so with this personal invitation to all of you, if you want to study at St. Xavier's College, please visit our website and you would know all the details. You want management, you want arts, you want mass communication, you want animation, you want science, microbiology, biotechnology, physics. We are one of the best colleges in this country. We are grateful to God for that. But we are one of the best. And I think this Xavier brand, <laughs> like your XIMB here next door, and XUB, little further, Xavier University of Bhubaneswar. And so we have St. Xavier's University, that is SXUK. So this is how we have about 60 colleges in this country, about 300 schools. As the SAI International is doing, we also try to do our best, our little share 
in educating the great minds of this country so that this country will flourish and grow. We all want to have a peaceful country, a country that is united, one India, and each one of us has contributed his or her might. I want to thank you for this opportunity given to me. I want to thank, of course, my friends Rohit and his nephew Arun uh, for bringing me all the way here. This has been a blessing. Let's continue to live together as brothers and sisters so that we will always be effective instruments of God and live a fruitful life. Thank you very much and God bless you all. Thank you.